Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, founder of In 30 Minutes Guides. Today I'm going to show you how to download stuff to your computer and open it up. And this is a pretty common scenario. Let's say somebody has emailed you some forms. Uh, here's a PDF and an Excel file. The email program actually previews the PDF in the uh, side window. I think Gmail will kind of open it up, superimpose it over the email itself. But let's say you just want to download the thing. Hover over the attachment, which is usually at the bottom of the email message, and you'll see a symbol that looks something like this. It's usually an arrow pointing down or sometimes a downward pointing arrow in a box. Uh, this means download, and if you hover over it, you'll see that it says download. So just click that. Okay. And you may be prompted to either open it right away or to save the file. And lots of people just like to open it so they can read it. But other people, they like to save the file so maybe they can print it out later or move it around on their uh, desktop or do something like that. I'm just going to save the file. Now the question is, what happened to it? And uh, Firefox and many other browsers are kind of perplexing about this because actually the files that you download, they end up in this little arrow on the top of the uh, browser toolbar. And it looks like a downward pointing arrow hitting a line. If you hover over it, it'll say something like display the progress of downloading items, uh, download, ongoing downloads. Just click on that, and this little dialog will pop up. So there's two parts to it. One is that you can just click on the name of the file, and it will open it right away. In this case, it's a PDF, so it will open right up in Adobe Acrobat. But if you click on the, on the folder here, it will actually show it in the folder that it appears in. And the folder that it appears in is called Downloads. You can see it right here. It says Downloads. Or in, if you're in File uh, Browser or Finder in Mac, if you open on the left side, it'll show all the major folders you may have. One of them is called Downloads. Whoops. And this is where it is. This is actually the file that I just downloaded. If I double clicked it, I could open it up. I could also do something like drag it to another folder. I could put it in this folder if I wanted to. Okay. So that's downloading an email. If you're downloading something off of a web page, so here I am on the National Parks Maps website, just maps, and let's say that I click this uh, icon, this uh, link here to download the PDF. In this case, it's the browser will actually open it up in the PDF. But if I wanted to download it to my computer, you'll see in the upper right corner there's another uh, downward pointing arrow in a piece of paper or a box. Click on that. You'd be prompted again to save it or open it up. Let's just save it. And again, it shows up in this little area. So if I click on that, here it is. I can open it up directly or I can open the folder. Another way to get to the downloads folder, you don't even need to do it through the browser. Go to the bottom in Windows and click the uh, File Explorer icon. It looks like a folder. Click on that. And then look around for the uh, downloads folder and just select it. Okay, so right now, here it is. It's down. It's showing all the files and downloads. And at the very top is nationalparkmap.pdf. If you don't see the file you just downloaded, it's possible that it's an older file or this view of File Explorer is actually jumbling up the files. Just click the date at the top, and that will sort it by either uh, oldest to newest or newest to oldest. Just click it a couple times until the, until the newest files show up at the top, and hopefully you'll be able to find it, and then you can select it. For more tips on how to get the most out of your technology, check out our guides at in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.